Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we'll see how to make a snow plot graph like the one you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. And then we'll see how to render it as a video format that will work perfectly for Instagram. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, now before we're gonna start this uh, tutorial, make sure to download these uh, two snow overlays from the link in description below. So you're gonna use this snow portrait if you have a portrait image and you're gonna use this snow landscape if you have a landscape image. For me, I have a portrait image, so I will be using this one. All right, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will take the image I will be using and open it in here. Now we'll double click on it to unlock it and I will name it image and I will press OK. Now let's go ahead and open the snow image in here so I will take it and open it in a new tab like this and then I will go to select and I will choose all now I will go to edit and I will choose copy and I will close this tab now I will go to edit paste special and I will choose paste in place this will paste it in the center now if your image was bigger than uh, the snow image as you can see in here this uh, snow image is bigger than my image in here so if uh, your image was bigger and the snow was smaller you can just press ctrl t and make it bigger all right now we'll zoom out a little bit by pressing alt and scrolling down my mouse in here and then i'm gonna press ctrl t and as you can see the snow image is uh, way bigger than uh, the image so we press shift alt and i will make it smaller just right where you can see a little bit of space in the top and in the bottom but we don't need uh, this uh, space in the bottom so I will take this snow overlay and I will take it to the top this way we can have just this space on the top in here and now we can animate this and I will one click on this check mark now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to screen and I will name it snow after that I will right click on it and I will choose convert to smart object now I will go to window and I will open the timeline. Next I will one click on this middle button in here so I will add these two layers to the timeline. As you can see we have two clips in here. Now we'll uh, zoom out from the timeline using this slider so I will zoom out a little bit just like this and then I will take this one in here and I will add a little bit of time until I can see 6 seconds. And I will do the same for this other one. Now I will open the option of this snow uh, clip in here, so I will open it from here and then I will make sure that my time indicator is set to the first second in here and then I will one click on this transform stopwatch to add a keyframe. Now I will move the time indicator just in here and I will one click on this keyframe. Now I will zoom out a little bit and then I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I will take this snow and I will put it down just like that and I will one click on this check mark now if I go back to the first second you can see the snow is moving now we'll zoom out from the timeline a little bit just like this and then I will take this second keyframe and I will put it way to I can see 12 seconds in here this will make the snow fall a little bit slower than a six second so let's preview this so we'll move the time indicator to the first second and i will one click on this play button and as you can see the snow is moving slowly and it looks really good like this all right let's stop it and i will move the time indicator to the first second in here now I will select this image and the snow together and I will right click and choose convert to smart object. And this would allow me to animate this as a smart object. Now I'm gonna make a copy of it so I will take it and make a copy in here. And then I will zoom in the timeline. After that I will take this time indicator to 3 seconds. As you can see in here it said 3 seconds. Next I will take this snow copy clip and I will make it just like this and I will do the same for this other one in here so I will put it just like this. Now we will take this snow copy 
and I will make it on top of the other one just like that now let me zoom in a little bit in the timeline after that I will take the time indicator and I will put it where it said one second as you can see in here I have one second now I will take this second clip that said snow and I will put it in the one second in here after that I will select the snow copy and I will open the options and I will one click on this opacity stopwatch in here and this will add a keyframe next I will take the time indicator and I will put it to the end of this clip and then I will go to the opacity in here and I will put 0% and this will add a keyframe and now we can preview it so let me move this time indicator to the first second and I will one click on this play button and as you can see the snow is smoothly looping all right let's stop it now it's time to render it so i will one click on this arrow in here and you can choose where you want to put uh, your video from here so one click on it and you know choose a folder and press ok and you know give it a name so we name it snow clip and i will click render now wait for it to process all right so the render is done now we can go and preview it so i will double click on it to open it in my video and as you can see it's looping in here all right now we're gonna see how to make it work for instagram so i will go back to photoshop and i will close this and then i will go to file and new and i'm gonna put 1080 for the width and 1080 for the heights because that's the standard uh, resolution for Instagram and I'll press OK. Now we'll go back to my file and I will take my snow clip in here. It's a video and I will open it in this document. And as you can see, there is a uh, two black borders in here, so this won't look good on Instagram. So now I'm gonna press Shift Alt on my keyboard and I will make it bigger until it will fit with the resolution of the image and I will put it just like this and I will one click on this check mark next I will one click on this create video timeline so I will add this snow clip to the timeline and then I will one click on this arrow to render it and again I will choose a folder and I will give it a name so I will name it snow clip Instagram and I will click render now wait for it to process all right now we can go and play our video so as you can see here is the video so i will double click on it to play it and there we go we have the snow smoothly looping and ready to be published on instagram and that will be all for this video i hope that you enjoyed and you liked this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know show me out on instagram if you try this effect and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.